Question. A person stands 30 feet uh, from the point P and watches a balloon rising vertically upwards to uh, from the point. Now the balloon is rising at the rate of 2 feet per second. So this is rising at 2 feet per second. We have to find the rate of change of uh, uh, the angle in radian per second when the ball is 40 feet above the point P. All right, so uh, in, in, uh, at any random time, this will be x and let's say this will be y. So this means that y square is equal to x square plus 30 square. In fact, that is not even required because we are not interested in y. We are rather interested in tan. So we can write that tan theta is x over 30. And we are supposed to find the d theta over dt. To, so let's, uh, let's uh, uh, differentiate both sides with respect to t. So we have 6 square theta times d theta over dt is equal to 1 over 30 times dx over dt. All right, so uh, we are already given that uh, the value of x at which we have to find this is 40. So this is equal to 40. So if this is 40, this means that at that point tan theta is opposite which is 40 over adjacent which is 30. So tan theta is 4 over 3. And we know that 6 square theta is nothing but 1 plus tan square theta. So we write it like that. d theta over dt is the unknown quantity. 1 over 30 remains as it is. And dx over dt is nothing but 2. So now this will become 1 plus 4 over 3 square is 16 over 9. Because tan theta is nothing but 4 over 3. And we have just squared it. This is d theta over dt is equal to 1 over 15. Uh, that is the uh, 2 times 1 over 30 is 1 over 15. And finally... 25 over 9 times d theta over dt is nothing but 1 over 15. So if we do a cross multiplication, we have d theta over dt as uh, dividing, multiplying both sides by 9 and uh, uh, dividing both sides by 25. It looks something like this. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 5 is 15. So we are getting 3 over 125, which is the final answer. And Option B is matching with it.